In this last section of chapter one of the course, we're going to tie up some loose ends, and we're going to begin by taking a look at the hardware interface. Now remember, the hardware interface is our connection to the outside world. You can't delete it, you can't change it, you can't move it. It's there all the time. But there are some nice features with it. Now in this example, the mixer is outputting to the first two audio outputs. So the sound from the mixer is going to our audio device, channels one and two. Now we may have other ports available, either inputs or outputs on our audio device, or we may be using a sequencer or rewire, which we'll get into later in the course, and we need access to these other inputs and outputs. A green indicator light means that we have a valid connection between Reason and our virtual or real audio interface. A yellow light means that we have an available input or output, but Reason is not connected to it. And if you ever see red, that means we're connected to something that doesn't exist. Let me show you what I mean. The mixer is connected to one and two of our audio interface. Right now we're going through a master effect and then to our audio interface. But if I move it to port three, you'll see the red light there and the red light there. That means that port three does not exist on our audio interface. We don't have a third output defined. So let's move that back. Now when we've connected Reason to a sequencer like Pro Tools or Logic or Live, we have access to many outputs and inputs. We're only seeing a couple of them here. But if I click the More Audio button at the top, I'll be able to see all of my inputs and outputs. Let's do that now. And there you can see 64 inputs and 64 outputs. That is a heck of a lot of control. And we can use any of those inputs and outputs from Reason. Now beneath each of the meters, there's a little button. And that button will bring up the big meter, which I can also get to by clicking the big meter button. I can switch to different outputs or inputs, and they're reflected in the big meter. And I have a clip indicator, which tells me when I've gotten a little too loud. And I can reset that by clicking the reset button. I can change the channel by clicking another button up top or by dialing in another pair. Let's go back to one and two. And then I have various controls over here to change the type of metering. There's a peak hold switch, which lets me go from a five second hold to an infinite hold, where I use the reset button to reset the clip indicator. And then finally, there's a VU offset, which moves the zero mark on the meter. The main thing you want to do with this meter though, is to prevent clipping. Clipping is digital distortion, and you usually don't want that digital distortion. So you can reduce your volumes, you can use some kind of a maximizer or limiter, but make sure that you're not clipping. The last thing I want to show you is this advanced MIDI tab, and that lets me control any device within reason from my sequencer, again, Pro Tools, Logic, and the like. So I can actually have separate tracks in my sequencer controlling separate tracks or separate instruments in Reason, as if I were connecting MIDI cables between them. I can also use this section to set up other MIDI devices in my studio, like this Roland Hand Sonic I have sitting next to me. I'm going to use that to control my Kong drum machine. So first I go to Preferences and I go to the Advanced tab, and there you see four buses, each of which can allow me to control 16 MIDI channels for a total of 64 MIDI channels. I'm going to assign bus A to my hand sonic, and that is plugged into my MIDI device on port eight. So I'll use the drop down here and choose port eight on my MIDI device. And then in the advanced MIDI section, with bus A selected, I'll choose the drop down for channel 10 and choose the Kong drum. My hand sonic is sending out on MIDI channel 10, so I should be able to hear the Kong when I play it. And that gives you a more detailed look at the hardware interface 
the metering, and the advanced MIDI section. 